What's going on guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a W203 video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to remove the instrument cluster so you can replace the faulty LCD screen. This is a common fault with the W203s and eventually the screen becomes faulty and you either lose the screen altogether or parts of it will begin to fade. So this is definitely something you need to do. This video will definitely be beneficial in order to show you guys how to DIY yourselves at home. I'm also going to show you guys how to replace the clip for the instrument cluster plug harness. I have broken my clip that sits over the top of the, the plug for the instrument cluster, seeing as I need to do that also. Then we will proceed to remove the case of the instrument cluster so that we can get to the LCD screen and then replace it. This is what I'm talking about here. As you can see, the clip here is broken broke off as I was learning how to take off the instrument cluster so that's why I like to make videos as well for you guys so that you can see for yourself some of the mistakes that can be made if you are not careful originally that's how it would look of course I broke it that's why I had to replace this lever for the plug in order to remove your cluster pull out your steering wheel whether it be electric or manual mine's manual pull out the lever under here and then you pull your steering wheel all the way out and then as far down as possible and then lock it into place now we have room to take out the instrument cluster in order to remove the instrument cluster all you need to do is cut a piece of coat hanger you don't need to do this but i prefer to do it so that it's easier to remove i bend the tip so it looks like that you just have to get a pair of pliers hold this part straight and bend it down i'll show you why this is important once i remove the cluster we need to go straight in and then we push it in you will feel a little bit of pressure and once you feel that bit of pressure you push it in and then you turn it to the right and then you pull it out that's one side out do the same to the other side we go in with the hook facing out, out that way go straight in follow it push it in turn it down so the hook is now facing down and we pull it out and then look at that that's how easy the instrument cluster comes out from here there's a plug in the back just want to show you how you pull it out so usually your instrument cluster will be faced in like that and the most you're going to get it out is about here okay because that's the furthest it reaches as you can see if you come in from the angle here you could probably see how you remove it that is the back of your plug now so if you look at it you're going to see it like that from the back see this little push lever here push down on that and then pull this gray clip backwards towards you press down like that and with another finger you pull this back towards you once you have it over the push tab it will just come out like so and then it comes out and to reinstall it you need to line it up then as you push down you need to push this over the top so it locks it into place so you push down and then you pull it over and then it locks it in like that and then it's locked in I have a spare one of these because I'm going to replace this gray lever the one on my car is broken at the moment there we go it just came straight off in order to replace this clip all you have to do is pull it off so you just get a flathead screwdriver in between there or you don't even have to do that I can just use my fingernails and you just pull it off see how I just lifted it over that's off there now and just do the same to the other side get your fingernail underneath and pull it do not pull too hard because you will break it and then that simply comes off to replace the one on here remember that this finishes on top so that it can clip over it we line this up put it over we know that it finishes in that lock position push it over the top and then clip it down and that's it now that clip is simply replaced now now we're going to remove disassemble the case we need to just pry one two three four five clips off you can just use your hands that's what i do just pull one off two off be gentle be careful three four and last five okay and then once you've unclipped them all just lie it down and pull off the top case and look at that it just comes right off okay we can simply lift this out do not hold it from the bottom here because that's where your ribbon is okay right there so we want to hold it from the sides and then pull it out and once you have taken off the top case we need to remove this surround first and in order to remove it you just need to pry it up it's really simple to remove what i like to do is i like to pull it up from one side 
like so, okay, and then it slowly comes off, as you can see, look, one side's already coming off, and then you just follow it around, and look at that, that's how easy that comes off, it's simply held in by the clips here, as you can see, these clips here, we lift it out, the first thing we need to do is disconnect the ribbon. So we turn this over like so. Be careful not to knock any of your pins. It's very important here. So they're not knocked out of place. And if they are, make sure you line it back up before you put everything back together. Notice these two black tabs here. That's what clips this ribbon in place. We come in from the top like so, and we push down on these black tabs like this, like so. Not too hard. You do not want to break them. Just enough so they release. You saw that? Do the same here to the other side. I'm going to push down. Look how easily that unclipped. Make sure it comes up to about there. So the clip has come out of its seated position. And now we can pull our ribbon out. As you can see, pull it out. Look at that. It's coming out slowly. Look at that. Perfect. Now we have the ribbon loosened, we can flip this around again and this is how we remove this glass panel. You can see that you've got the two white corner positions and this LCD screen slides underneath it and it locks into place via these two white tabs here. You can see that the glass here slides in clips underneath this white tab. So in order to remove it, you do not pry here all you have to do is release these white tabs by pulling back on them like this and lifting up at the same time. So you pull it back over it and this comes up like so. You do the same to the other side. You just pull back on this tab, the white tab. Be careful, don't pull on it too hard because you will break it. I've seen people break it before. Pull back on this white tab and lift this piece of glass up at the same time. There we go. So I pulled back on this tab and I lift this, lifted the glass up and look at that. See how that just came out? And now, all you have to do is pull it back towards you like so. Grab the new one now. To install it, we, it's just reverse. It clips in under these white tabs and it slides in underneath these corner tabs. So we need to slide it in this way first. You want to install the LCD screen first before you even think about installing the ribbon. That way, you don't have to worry about the ribbon being too short or wrecking the ribbon when you try and pull it over. So we slide it underneath these two tabs, the, these two positions, then we push straight down and make it clip into place. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Look how easily that slid back into place. Ensure that these white tabs are over the LCD screen by trying to pry it up and make sure that it doesn't come out. Flip it around. We need to slide in this ribbon into here. Slide it in. Make sure all the gold tabs are seated inside. Make sure it's all in. Careful not to bend this too much because you can break the connection in the ribbon that runs along it. So you got to be careful not to uh, bend it too much. And once you have it in and you can no longer see any of the gold bits sticking out, then you can just push these black tabs back down and it will lock your ribbon back into place. So we push down, we push down, down again. There we go. You have to ensure the black clip goes all the way in so that it clips your ribbon into place. Make sure it goes all the way in. And that's it. That's how you replace your LCD screen for your W203 instrument cluster. This is a common problem with the W203s. The LCD screen over a period of time will become damaged. We just have to put everything back together. Make sure you reinstall your cover. These clips will just sit back over the top of it. So what I do is I like to just slide it on from the top like so and then push it straight down. Once it's lined up, just push it back down and look at that. It just clips back into place so easily. Now all we have to do is line up the top cover, line it up, sit it in like so. Now we have it sitting in where we want it and now we get the top cover. Make sure the inside of your screen is all clean inside here. You want to line up this push pin first. Make sure it comes through the appropriate hole like so. Make sure that the cover lines up over 
your uh, speedometer and also your rev gauge and your fuel gauge once you see that is in place make sure you line up the top and the bottom of the case and what I mean by that is you'll see that the top case has a lip and this lip has to sit underneath the bottom case and the clips also have to sit over the top so once you have it lined up like so you can proceed to push it in ensuring the whole time that the top case sat underneath the bottom case both clips are in now except for this one so we need to push it down more until it clips over the top like so turn it around the top case has to sit underneath the bottom and then you can push it down push it down both sides and look at that bang it just clipped back into place and there you go back together reinstall the plug give it a test first and then we can push it back in once you connect the plug you want to test it before you push it back in so it saves the hassle of having to remove it again via these two holes here pull the steering wheel out again far enough so we have room to reinstall the instrument cluster you slide it on in make sure you remember the position of your plug that way you do not try to plug it in the wrong way and force anything in we can see that this will now be on that side the plug would have to sit in like this okay like this okay as you can see the plug sits like that and it sits like this make sure your plug is locked out so it has to sit like that put our cluster back in put your head over here and then look in from this side line it up and then as you push in remember you push in and then lift it over at the same time and then voila it's plugged back in give it a quick test put the keys in and turn it and voila the cluster works we are good to go all we have to do now is push it in and it locks back into place in the next video i'm going to show you guys how i installed these these silver bezels on the w203 so be sure to stay tuned for that video and well there you have it guys how to remove the instrument cluster and replace the lever for your instrument cluster plug and also how to replace the LCD screen and also the ribbon for your instrument cluster screen. I will leave a link in the description below where I got my LCD screen from. The price is going to vary depending on where you buy it from so make sure you shop around first. Do not impulse buy and just buy the first thing that you see. It's always a lot cheaper from overseas especially a place like China. I really hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads thanks again for watching I'll see you guys in the next video this is Mike with Mikey's vlogs signing off